The objective of this tutorial is so that if you are using a Mac, you can follow along capturing and writing data to the console, same as we did for Windows. Let's open Visual Studio for Mac and create a new console application. So here we're going to choose the .NET Core, which is already selected and it's C-sharp. So let's go ahead and click Next. For the target framework, let's keep it .NET Core 3.0 and give it a project name. We'll call it Simple Console App and keep the location as the default. Then click Create. Like as before, it's very similar to the Windows app that we created previously. It's the same structure and we have the template that's created for us. So basically, it outputs the hello world. Now to run this, we're going to go ahead and click the run button. If you're prompted with a security dialog, select OK to give access to Visual Studio. So here, notice that the application executed similar to Windows, but instead this time outputs to the Mac terminal. So we can close the window. If you want to capture user information, this will be similar as before. Not going to go through the whole tutorial, but you should be able to follow everything that was done on Windows on Mac. Basically, we're gonna show you a subset of what we did on Windows by capturing a user input and outputting the results. Okay, let's run this to see the results in action. Notice there's nothing happening because it's expecting me to type something. So after we enter some text here and hit enter, we'll then echo out the results. That's pretty much it. Everything else in Windows should work in here. If you wanted to execute this from the terminal instead of running it from Visual Studio, um, go ahead and launch the terminal and then navigate to where the application is stored. And then you could just execute this as before. So if we were to list the directory, because this is Mac, you have to use ls. And then change the directory to projects. Just navigate to where Visual Studio compiled the project. So once you navigated to where Visual Studio compiled the project, you should be able to see a list of files that were generated by Visual Studio. Because this is Mac, don't forget to type .NET and then space and then the name of the application. But on a Mac, it will be a DLL not executable. Once executed, we'll need to type any text and enter in order to echo the response back. You should now be able to accept a user's input and also respond to the user in the Mac terminal.